Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you guys how you will use the nmap tool to scan targets. So targets that we can scan are for example IP addresses, host names or websites. And also uh, the tool can be downloaded here. It works on the Mac OS X system, Windows and Linux system. And also I need to explain you guys the port which uh, will get outputted with the tool nmap. So ports are used in uh, different kind of devices or servers um, spe or specifically systems that are, that are integrated in the devices or websites to um, run services on it that have specific tests or do specific things. So for example, for opening the web page or that you guys can even access the website the port 80 in 443 in numeric form are used without that you guys could not even visit a web page so that's how basically um, ports work and they um, start from the range 1 to the and end to the range 65235 so those are only the range that they exist and in the next clip I will show you guys how we will use nmap to scan specific targets. We first need to open the Linux terminal in the Gal Linux system and we make it bigger. We write sudo zoom, we can write the password to get full privilege and write clear. And we will write ifconfig to see the our interface information from our private IP address. As you guys can see, our IP is 194 and it ranges uh, from the number 1 actually to the number 255. So we will write better cap i face VLAN 0 which is our interface and we can also write clear to clear the screen and now we will scan in the internal networks for the specific targets we will write for that net.probe on and as you guys can see here those are the private IP addresses which are assigned inside the um, network of the router so we will um, specifically only target the gateway so we can uh, click CTRLC to quit session so to scan the gateway, the gateway has always the IP address uh, with the number 1 appending at the end so if our private IP address is assigned as this the gateway must always be the, f the first number 1 that uh, will be assigned to it so we can test with for example ping if the host is alive and because we are sending packets out to see if th they are alive and as you guys can see the, uh, the router giveaway um, IP is alive so we clear the screen <laughs> now we are gonna use the tool nmap first of all we write nmap and help to see all the options that we can do for scanning so those this is how the usage uh, works we write the nmap command and then scan types which uh, are here those are like the scan techniques and there are also other scan te techniques like host discovery and there's also like target specifications that we can do in this option um, Target specification is basically at the end here. The options here are like over here. For example, the port specification uh, from what range of ports we want to scan from, or if you want to um, detect services or versions of the system ports, like services that are running. Or we can also also do script scanning to find vulnerabilities. And then we can also f uh, do OS detection to actually guess the uh, system, what kind of system the device is specifically. 
more strongly and then also there's like a timing and performance um, option here and if you want to bypass firewall or intrusion detection uh, system and evade it and spoof it we can use these options and then there are more underlying options over here the examples that we can do is for example here as you guys can see that's how we can write and scan the targets here and those are the underlying options and that is the nmap command so what we're gonna do is actually um, use the sin scan ss and we um, like this nmap ss to scan and we will use v it prints the v is used to actually make a more verbose level meaning we will see more information about the target specifically and we will also use a a will um, detect the system and the version of it and also it will do script scanning and uh, trace the route of the traffic of the ip then we will also use the P pn command the pn command is actually used to um, treat all hosts as online so they don't not get falsely treated as offline so for this i will clear the screen we write nmap ssvapn and then we write the gateway ip address because we want to scan on this one and we just hit enter and this will take some time and as you guys can see we already opened uh, we find open ports on the um, gateway ip address as you guys can see here so the scanning will take some time. I will skip it until it is fully finished. So after we have scanned the um, target basically, you will see the scan being finished and it will all look like this. So first of all, when we go up here, for example, we can see that the port AT is on a transmission control protocol on the transmission protocol TCP and it's open and it's running on the service HTTP for opening websites and also the specific service which is used for it is also called demo webs and this is for basically domain or DNS and it uh, uses or uses the version basically DNS mask 2.80 if the state is also open and we can also see on uh, more information about the website um, link as what this port 80 opens so if you go for example the open link here you will for example see that it opens uh, the port and basically um, this page which is the router gateway and if you scroll more down we see some specific information more and this is the port 443 which is used for SSL for a secure connection uh, website wise and the port 5006 has to do with SIP, SIP is usually has something to do with phone calls or anything with calls in the router and we can see more specific information and we can for example also see that this is the uh, what system it runs on it runs the, the router gateway runs on the linux system and there's also the details specifically about the information it's not very 100 percent accurately but uh, those are like the information basically about the system so in this clip we will try to scan actually the UTP protocols of the router uh, they serve for different purposes and they have uh, different numbers so for to do this we will write nmap suvapn same as before but only that the scan specification uh, will scan uh, the UDP port or transmission control protocol then we will provide the IP address like this and this will also then take some time until it finishes so I'm gonna skip until it finishes
And as you guys can see, if the scan is finished, we can see, for example, that uh, the ports like 6, 7 are open here, and also the port 5, 3. And those other ports here are all, all filter ports uh, or ports that are generally um, maybe open or maybe not open, but the ones that are open, they will show as open as here. And there is a lot of information about it, and that's how basically uh, you can scan the UDP transmission control protocol ports. Let's get my PlayStation 5 on this IP address, which is is like assigned to. Uh, with the specific commands, like I showed before, it will not show any information of any ports are open. As you guys can see, it says closed. And it says reset, and uh, but we can see, for example, that the system inside the PlayStation 5 runs on a free BSD uh, system, basically. So how can we bypass this firewall and actually find open ports? So what we're gonna do is clear the terminal. We're gonna write uh, nmap sf for both to get more information and get also the system information, and we will write the port numbers that range. From starting from the one to six five degree five, and then I will write the IP address of the PlayStation Five device that is in my internal network inside, and then we hit enter. And this will take some time depending on your connection and depending on the system of the targets, targets that you scan, and how fast your wireless adapter is. But this command SF is uh, is a fin scan. This is used also to bypass the firewalls, and we will wait until we will find open ports and see if we can bypass the firewall. So after we finish the firewall bypassing scan, we can see when if we go up here that the port. 9295 is open and it shows this specific information string and we will also see the port 41800 uh, TCP is open and it will show the service as mongoose HTTP D so actually if we will not know what this specific port is we can for example copy this one and we can open the browser or you guys can open the browser also on a Windows machine uh, oh my okay, Linux machine is a bit slow because it runs in the virtual machine environment but if you will for example now go to google.com and we write speed guide this is a website where we can see for example uh, specific ports as what their underlying functions are or just understand what they are for now we will write the port 9295 for example in this search engine. We can write for example we can go uh, for example click on the 9295 here. As you guys can see here, this is this application is used for Sony PlayStation Remote Play Session Creation Communication. I'm sure it has nothing to do with ARM Center as uh, the port which is opened is uh, on the PlayStation 5 machine. So that's how we can actually find out what kind of port it is if you don't uh, get get it like um, shown on the scan. Sometimes we would like to find the IP address of our website. We would uh, write ping uh, nmap.org but we will see it doesn't show the numeric value of the IPv4 format but it shows the IPv6 format so how can we scan such a format so we can clear the screen and write nmap and then the scanning method and then we will write minus 6 for the IPv6 format and then we write the other underlying options and then we will also then uh, paste or copy and uh, write the format which we uh, use ping to find IP address from but it will show us IPv6 so we will use the option minus 6 inside to scan this one 
And as you guys can see, we are scanning actually now. And this will also take some time that everything will be scanned and finished. And as you guys can see, we see already open ports on on the website nmap.org itself. So that's actually the website which is associated with this IPv6 address. So after the scan is finished, we can see all the underlying information about the IPv6 scan that we have finished and see also the open ports 2.2, 2.5, uh, 70, 80, 113, 4.4.3 and also so on. So that's how we can also scan um, IP address formats in IPv6 as some websites only show this kind of IPs. But if you want to, for example, see the normal format of it, we can write ping minus four and then nmap.org and then we will see actually the ipv4 format of basically the website nmap.org but if you want to see specifically the ipv6 we can write minus six for example also and this will show the format like this so we can also scan actually the website by this way and then you just make the name like this or we can make the full URL for example also like this and also scan it but I will just show you guys how we will scan just the host name of it and as you guys can see we will also see the open ports and everything and after the scan is finished we will see all the underlying options same as before with the IPv6 scanning I will clear the window now So basically, that's how we can scan uh, websites, IP addresses in all different formats of the version 6, version 4. And we can uh, find open ports or specific services running on the systems of it or servers. And we can also bypass firewalls and do much more advanced stuff. So this is only a starter beginner video that I want to show you guys is how it works as if pe most hackers that are criminal the malicious things they for example will scan uh, this kind of ports and find vulnerability to actually hack inside the system or server and they basically will have remote access by the vulnerability from the ports so that's how basically uh, port scanning is used for in the hacker world but also security people will use it for securing themselves and finding vulnerabilities or also diagnosing like the uh, services as how they run or how they work so that's how basically uh, nmap can be used for it depends on the person that uses the tool as of what they want to do with it